This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Okay, so Mondays, um, normally I'm trying to, to find something to kind of work on in the week and this one jumped out at me. I was sort of practicing last night and this kind of idea occurred to me. What I like to do with these videos is kind of show it to you whilst it's still fresh to me in my mind so that it's not something I'm just blasting through super fast and I can talk to you sort of about the kind of idea behind it. So I was messing around with this kind of thing. So if you've heard Under a Glass Moon, there's a little lick that does that. And that is essentially a major seven thing. So I was playing in D major. And we're starting up here, which is on the 14th fret. And then 14, 10, 14, 10. Then you jump down to the G string. 11, 7, 11, 7. What's kind of nice about it is it's that kind of repeating same gap each time. So I was messing around with that, but I wanted to, to put something else together and I noticed this kind of thing. So this is a little bit of a new construction for me. So. And this was the idea, something that we could loop around. So we're starting on the 12th fret on the E, second degree of this scale, down to the D, down to the C sharp on the 14th fret, down to the A on the 10th fret, back to our nine here. So that's where we get to, it's starting to repeat. We could do that even. another little thing that I might practice as well there. Another little idea, I'll, I'll tap that as well. Um, so it's kind of idea. So it's gonna loop around, so 12, 10, 14, 10, 14, 14, 12, back up, 14, 10, 12, 10, 14, 10, 14, 10. kind of got that interesting sound because it's a little bit kind of pianistic it's a little bit kind of synthy as well because it's not for me the sort of thing that I play all the time because we've got a bit of that string skipping stuff going on okay so picking wise I'm picking each string change. Yeah. 
And what I thought then was that I could move this around. I've yet to really figure some of this stuff out, but then something like this. <laughs> So um, that's just me trying to figure out some other ways to play this sort of structure of thing. So. Then. Then. And then. The first one is the one that I like the best, but that's uh, what I was kind of enjoying. And I kind of just define it as a weird lick. It's kind of pentatonic, string skippy, major scaly. Uh, I think it's got quite a cool sound. Let me know if you've ever heard of something like that before, uh, spotted that sort of thing in someone else's playing. I'd be interested to know if you've seen that sort of thing done somewhere else, but uh, I thought it had quite a cool sound. And that literally, the idea came from initially trying to do something. sounded a bit different. I hope that's vaguely interesting. That's what I'm going to be working on throughout some of the week. Um, I'll put together a backing track. This is brand new to me, so I'll try and put something in an intro now, which I'm um, using some of these concepts. Um, you know, wish me luck with that. And the backing track tab will go up on Patreon where I'll show you some of those examples. The other thing I was doing was, wasn't it? It was... <laughs> whole kind of rolling arpeggio idea so I'll, I'll probably put up a tab for that as well thank you for stopping by and uh, leave a comment if you find these sort of little lick things interesting i think it's fun to have some sort of like minor focus that you can work on and kind of keep your finger in the kind of technique pie that's a gross metaphor isn't it? cheers <coughs>